hello guys welcome to our channel my name is esther and this is qs fashion hub thank you for stopping by if you're new please hit on the subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so guys today we are going to be teaching you how to assemble your um stand fan so we are going to be unboxing and then assembling this standing fan okay please pay close attention to whatever we are going to be doing today so at this point we just went ahead to open it open the pack and then let's see what we have in there so inside this um pack we have the blade we have the the base of the the fan we have the base we have the cover we have the stand okay now that this is a stand okay and now this is the main um we like call it the engine of the fan because without this this fan cannot work every part of this fan is important okay so this is it this part this is the area where you will control the fan okay now we have the um the blade okay can you see just watch whatever you're seeing on the screen okay we have the bl the blade yeah these are the blades and then we have the blade cover this is the cover of the fan okay we have the front and the back this is the back the first one is the front okay and then we have the base this is where the fan is going to be standing on okay now the first thing we are going to do is that we are going to be assembling the the base and the 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 pole i mean the stand together okay you can call it pull you can call it stand okay can you see the lower part is it has this um, um something like a screw so you're just going to remove that part like you can see us do on the screen okay you're just going to remove it like this take your time please and just pay close attention this is um this fan is 18 inches plus that is what was written on the pack okay now you're going to place it this way can you see you're going to place it this way and then you grab the lower part and put it like this and then you're going to put that um will i call it a knot and then you're just going to go ahead and screw it like this just go ahead and screw it like this once you're done you're going to have something like this and then the base and uh, stand which is the pole is already standing okay now after that you're just going to bring out this control area i don't know what is called i don't know what they call it though so you're just going to bring it out and then you're going to this is a blade and this is the blade cover this is a back panel of the blade cover okay now just watch closely you're going to try and you'll be seeing four knots there can you see four one two three four okay so at this point you're going to unscrew them you just remove the knots okay remove them remove the four that's the first one the second and then we're going to do that to all of them the four of them we're going to do that to the four of them okay just pay close attention please so guys if you haven't subscribed to this channel please hit on the subscribe button and turn on your notification bell can you see that we have a lot of packages for you in this channel please subscribe to this channel you have to learn a lot of things here you have a lot to learn here okay so now once you're done you're just going to grab the back panel of the blade cover 
so can you see the four holes there and then you're just going to align the holes the four holes that are on the blade cover with the holes where you just remove those screw those four screw is this screw or not so you're just going to remove them and then you're going to um align it together once you align them together the lines will the holes the four holes will be in the same point with the 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 ones the holes on the control part okay so now you're just going to screw those knots back you're going to screw the knots back just screw them back screw them back inside that um, hose it is very easy easy straightforward <laughs> if you follow this procedure step by step At this point just go ahead and screw them properly make sure that they are tight and firm so it doesn't fall off when the fan is working okay so just screw them very tightly and firm okay can you see can you see so you will be able to um, raise it up carry both of them up if you screw them properly okay so at this point you're just going to grab your blades and then insert it like this and then this is the i think the cover yeah you just put it on top and then just tighten it like you can see us do on the screen you tighten it okay so once you tighten it up you're going to have something like this so now you're going to go ahead and cover it up with the blade cover I mean the front panel of the blade cover so now you have four knots here okay four of them so can you see that point that's the second one and the third one and that's the fourth one so you have four of them tiny holes that are there so when you cover it up like so you're still going to screw in those four knots that we just showed you now so you're going to make sure that you place it very well so it aligns in the right position so that you'll be able to screw your knots in without any difficulty okay so just cover it up and you're going to be hearing this um this sound when you cover it very well it's to make a sound it's to make a sound you hear this sound when you when you press it very well and cover it very well and it kills very well you hear this sound so once you're done just place your 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 boat is it bolt or not just place your nut with a small screwdriver just place it this way and then just start screwing them down you're going to need um like two to three screwdriver different sizes of screwdriver when you want to couple this fan when you want to assemble this fan together you're going to need two to three i guess we use three okay screwdriver of different sizes okay so the size of screwdriver you're going to be using for this particular um knot here is different from the first one that you used earlier okay this one is smaller because the knots are small so you need a smaller screwdriver to do this and then you're just going to keep screwing them we remember we are going uh we are going to be screwing four of them down for the fan to be firm and then for it not to open up when it starts working okay so just take your time screw that down screw them down <laughs> 
let me know what you think on the comment section drop your comments show some love like this video and subscribe to this channel we have a lot of packages for you this year we'll be bringing them back to back okay so if you don't want to miss any of this subscribe then okay so we are still screwing them down okay the holes are so tiny so you have to watch carefully and just take your time and do a perfect job okay it is very easy you don't need to call any engineer to come and help you assemble your fan you can do it on your own so at this point we were done screwing them down so you're just going to hang it on the pole understand can you see just place it this way and then you grab another screwdriver can you see that boat there can you see that point look closely okay so it's going down but don't worry i'll soon show you okay so at that point can you see it can you see that place yeah so you're just going to go ahead and screw it very firmly because that's what is going to be holding the fan the um, upper part of the fan to the lower part of the fan it will hold the upper part to the the pole okay just screw it very well make sure it is firmly screwed okay so guys at this point we're done assembling the fan hey i'm just going to go ahead and put it on so you can see if it works or not <laughs> if we have done a perfect job or not so i just went ahead to plug the fan and then i'm going to switch the fan on I'm putting it on number three the highest let's take a look at it can you see how it is blowing very perfectly so guys please like this video subscribe to this channel and turn on your notification bell please subscribe it is free of charge don't stop learning keep learning see you in the next one bye